Based on the collected data, we have seen that the differences between some of the means are statistically significant. 
it is because the p-value that we have come up is 0.004 which is lesser than the level of significance. Therefore, in this problem, we reject the null hypothesis. This means that in four kinds of paint blends, they have their own average which is different from each other and which somehow clearly shows in the graph. It is very evident that each point in the graph represents each blend means of hardness and we could see and identify whether which of them has the highest and the lowest value of mean. For instance, in this graph, the blend who has the highest value is the blend 4, in which it has 18.07 mean, then followed by the blend 1 which has 14.73 and the blend 3 with a 12.98 mean. And the last sample with the lowest value is blend 2 which has 8.57 mean. In conclusion, this data clearly shows that there is a highest amount of variation in scores at blend 2 while the one that has the lowest blend amount is the blend 4 since it has the highest interval between scores. The finite graph and distribution plot choose graph. Then find probability distribution plot. Then view probability. And okay. In a distribution, type normal. In mean, type 9.1 based on the problem. In standard deviation, type 2.2 based on the problem also. In a split shaded area. Under, under shaded area, define shaded area by big shaded area. Then in define shaded area, you you click X value, then choose middle. Choose middle since we, we want the proportion of 8 to be all babies with a smile during, during duration between two values. In X value, type 6. In X value 2, type 12. Then OK. If you want to change the text of our distribution plot, we can easily double top the text. Then, suppose you want to change the font, choose the font style you want, either bold or italic. Just check. Then, the, the font size, you want to choose the font size. Then, click. Automatic for the color, then okay. Then. So, as we can see, we already have our song of oh, this division of that. And all we need to do now is if we want to change the, for example, the background, we select the date, the data region. Then select custom and background color, then choose the color and then enter. Okay. So first that changes. In terms of technicality, Analyzing data with a normal distribution using Minitab is less of a hassle and does not really require analysis in order to come up with an answer and learn the solution by hand. Minitab allows us to just input all the data needed and Minitab do all the work giving us the answer, while the by hand solution will need you to calculate and look for some values in the Z table. On the other hand, for the interpretation of this data, the normal distribution plot above is a probability function that describes how the function of a variable are distributed. 
It is a symmetric distribution where most of the observations cluster around the central peak and the probabilities for values further away from the mean taper off equally in both directions. Extreme values in both tails of the distribution are similarly unlikely.